Welcome to Cross Tech Payments 2023. We are here in Miami and I'm very honored to have my special guest, Mike from Neum. <laughs> Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. You know, we've been working on this conference for the last year and one of the big takeaway for us is what is the theme that is the new innovation and how can we help companies that are in the p2p space because that's our main following we have a lot of traditional money transmitters or cross-border payment providers that are looking into grow into a different segment and we came up to the conclusion that business payments is is, is the solution for that mm -hmm. and uh, you've been in the space for a while now and i think i wanted to hear your perspective into why business payments and how the business payment segment has helped you grow? Yeah, I mean, the segment has helped us grow um, quite a bit. We've been in the space for, for many years now, um, but the availability of, you know, to move money on demand, the way the on-demand economy is going forward with real-time global payments, especially for businesses, um, really created a bigger opportunity for us because, you know, you need more transparency always in payments. You need to be able to provide a good service and have the technology and network behind it that we do. Um, we've been building that network for years, but on the B2B side, it just helped us move forward quite a bit and, and create um, a great product that Neom has. Let's talk about markets. I know um, today I had Christina from your team talking a little bit about Brazil. Um, what other markets have you seen that this has been booming? Just like I say Brazil as an example. Last year we did Cross Tech Latam mm -hmm. and we were in Brazil. We had the founder of, of PIX, um, the, actually the, the company who built the infrastructure of the product. We had the central bank and, and Brazil has been leading some of the discussions on B2B payments, but also in instant deposits. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about outside of Brazil what are the other markets that you feel you've been stronger and or the 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 market is growing towards so you know for us you know like Europe we're directly connected to SEPA so that has always been you know very good for us because we're directly in that local ACH network but you you see it throughout a Asia Asia has such an advanced banking system compared to other markets that we've been able to get you know really make inroads there because you know, the technology and the advancement of their systems locally allow for us to create that on-demand, you know, real-time network similar to what you yeah. know Brazil has done. Um, you know, you have Mexico, you have, um, you know, Malaysia just came out about a year ago with their real-time network. So, you know, that's where the world is, and that's where things are focused on. So, you know, we're going to have that here in the U.S. with FedNow and and the RTP networks already there, but. You know, we're really had a great success throughout Asia and Europe. And what do you think about the U.S.? I actually was in a, in a conference <laughs> at last year, and one of the things that I challenged the regulators in the U.S. is, why are we so delayed? Like, U.S. is usually on top of those technologies, and especially in payments. Mm -hmm. um, we've been in this space, you know, for so long. <laughs> I, I say we because I'm Brazilian, but I'm also American. Mm -hmm. So what is your perspective? Why is Fed now so late, per se, or how, how do you think after the Fed now implementation we can catch up? Yeah, I mean, well, the first part, you know, why is it so delayed? I think, you know, what they're they're trying to create a new system based yes. off of an old network or an old system that we've had in the U.S. for years. So I think rebuilding that and creating it has caused delays. Um, but once it is available, yeah. you know, there's only going to be improvements on it and it will provide the opportunity for the U.S. to be you know, equal in that network with, you know, places like you said, Brazil and Europe and Asia, you know, we have to catch up here on the America side. And I think with FedNow that will provide that opportunity and it will only grow um, to improve because, you know, all the banks are part, you know, all the banks that are yeah. connected to the Fed will have that opportunity where there are other networks, you know, there was a full setup and integration into it, even though there is with FedNow, but you had to sign up for it, where if you're part of the Fed, you will have that, be able to have that offering. So I think it will yeah. allow for speed to catch up to the rest of the world. And I know, uh, you know, you asked, we're very competitive, so I'm sure uh, <laughs> we're going to be able to catch up. Yeah, they up. don't want to be second. Yes. <laughs> so that's why when I'm having the instant deposit discussion, 
discussions, I'm always like, why? And and one of the question was is also because there is a lot of decisions at state level. Mm -hmm. So for the way that our society works and our government structure, it takes us a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. But I'm really looking forward to the FedNow launch and, and I think it's gonna open up another innovation for the industry. Absolutely. Um, I would like to ask just a closing question. You know, sure. a lot of people that are gonna be following us here is, you know, companies that are interested in learning and entering the business payment space, um, they definitely don't have knowledge or experience and that's mostly what we attract. Mm -hmm. um, what would be your advice since you have been there longer, you've maneuvered through different markets for these companies that are in the P2P space looking into enter the B2B space? Yeah, I think, you know, coming to, you know, conferences like this provides a great opportunity to get a, a lot of information at one time, as well as make connections with a company like Neom, as well as legal and compliance. Yes. So, you know, being at a conference like Crosstech provides you the capabilities to really embed yourself in it because this is a direct B2B conference and you know there's legal firms there's payment service providers like us um, there's compliance there's all different types of opportunities to talk to people who have been in this space in different parts of it compliance and legal and so on and so forth and you know I think the best way to get into it is to embed yourself in it at a conference like this and take away and and continue those conversations and join more conferences and and just learn where everything is going in the industry Thank you so much, Mike. I'm no, thank very you. pleased to have you here. And for you that are following us, please tag us at Crosstech and hashtag Crosstech Payments 2023. Thank you for watching.